So I'm just in the middle of getting ready for work, as you can tell, half makeup phase. I check the weather. It's like minus 25 out there. That's like middle of winter cold. It's crazy. This is why, this, this is why I want to go live either in Vancouver or just somewhere tropical, but not humid. I don't like the humidity. I like the heat. I don't like the humidity. So anyways, I'm just uh, about to leave for work there shortly. Well, once <laughs> this is finished and uh, yeah, should be an easy morning because apparently we don't have any systems until like 12. So from 9.30 until like 12, don't really have to do anything at all. So Kim and I will have lots of time to like talk and whatever. We got stuff to talk about anyways. So yeah, week's almost over. Hey, well, now I'm ready for work. <laughs> and if I would have checked the weather before putting my hair up, I would not have put my hair up. But now it's too late to take my hair down because it was wet when I put it up and it's still kind of wet, which means it's just gonna be one big ball of curl. Not nice curls, mm -mm. no, like crazy person curls. <sighs> All right, well, heading to work and that's it for this morning. <sighs> like I don't have a sore throat anymore. Mm -hmm. and, my, and my neck doesn't hurt that much anymore. So can I make burritos for dinner tonight then? I can't guarantee I'm gonna eat them because I'm not hungry, <sighs> but yeah. I want burritos for dinner. It's the second night in a row. If I make them, you will eat them. Okay. Whether you like it or not, you'll eat. I will do I will do my best. You will eat. Yeah, I will do my best. You will eat. And then we gotta do laundry tonight too. Why? <laughs> Does it matter? I just did laundry like Like it was like Tuesday Thursday. or Wednesday. It was Thursday. No, it wasn't. It was Thursday because it was the day that it was the day before that I had to go to Anna's. It was Thursday. We just... Either way, we need to do some laundry. I'm going to bed at like 9 tonight. I'm so tired. Well, I guess whenever the laundry's done, I'm going to bed and getting a good night's sleep because I probably won't get much sleep tomorrow night. Well, it'll be before 10, so lucky you. Yeah. Oh, I gotta make you a stupid lunch. Actually? No. no. Make your own damn no. lunch. Yes. No, I'm sick. What is wrong with you? I tell her to make a lunch for school and the answer is just no. Because no. we... We agreed that on days when you spinning. Oh, I'm done that, spinning. Now. That on days when you don't have work, I will make my lunch. Days you do have work, cause you still have to make your own lunch. So it's just, it's, yeah, that's why. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure when I was her age, I'm pretty sure actually when I hit high school, I was making my own lunches. Every. You're day. the. It's not like. It's not like I told. I tell you. It's not like I was always there being like, Mom, make a lunch for me. It just happens. It's not like you ever went and made your own lunch either. Because I was, it was just ended up being made. Oh, just I magic. Thought. Never once did you think like, hmm, I'm 15, 16. My lunch just magically appears in the fridge every morning. Maybe I should try making it myself instead of the freaking lunch troll. Lunch. Well, I don't know. You're like, my lunch is just there. No, well, yeah, because you're making your own lunch, and then it just became, like, routine for you to make my lunch, too. Maybe so. it's a routine that I don't want to do Allison's anymore. Allison's mom makes her lunch, I think, sometimes. I think most of the time, actually. If Allison's mom jumped off a bridge, should I jump off a bridge, too? The Julie's do everything together. <laughs> Yeah, maybe we should go bungee jumping. There's never a worse feeling than doing your laundry, bringing everything up that has to be like hung up to dry and not go in the dryer. Realize you forgot like two pairs of pants and now you have to do a whole friggin' another load of wash for two pairs of pants. Pisses me off! Wait. Just a blue bathrobe, like, you know, on a segue, just in the basement. Yeah, that's what I do. Coming from the laundry room? No, coming from the underground parking. <laughs> What the hell were you doing in a parking garage in a blue robe on a Segway? He lives on the 14th floor because I had to press the button for him. Well, because he couldn't let go of his Segway handles. <laughs> you were in the elevator with him while yeah. he was standing on his Segway. In a bathrobe. In a bathrobe. Yeah. Who the hell is that lazy? I don't know, he was kind of old, so maybe he's like senile or something. The Segway. You know how expensive those things are? 
He's old. He's maybe he has like a good retirement or something. That's so freaking weird. That's so weird. A segue. Yeah. So it's almost like he came home from work, forgot something in his car, while well, I just took my segue down to the parking garage. Like <laughs> honestly. I guess. So I just started watching Bl Bloodline on uh, Netflix, but halfway through the very first episode, seems pretty good. I'm a little bit confused at this point, but it's only been a half an hour, so I'm gonna have to get a few episodes in, I'm sure, to get a hang of it. So, we just did laundry again tonight. Seems to be our laundry like two to three nights a week these days, instead of the usual one night a week. So, anyways, watching this episode and then probably going to bed. I'm exhausted, and then tomorrow's my Friday, so. Good night.